reading from the first letter of St. John. I am writing to you, children, because your sins have been forgiven for his name's sake. I am writing to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, because you have conquered the evil one. I write to you, children, because you know the Father. I write to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of God remains in you, and you have conquered the evil one. Do not love the world or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world sensual lust, enticement for the eyes, and a pretentious life is not from the Father, but is from the world. Yet the world and its enticement are passing away. But whoever does the will of God remains forever. The word of the Lord. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Bring gifts and enter into his courts. Worship the Lord in his holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the people with equity. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Saint Luke. 
There was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshiped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who, who were awaiting the redemption of uh, Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. This is the shorter version of, uh, from uh, Simeon uh, and, and Anna. This is just Anna's part, but that important that they were also heralds of uh, this child is destined for the salvation of Israel and, and of all of humanity. And Anna gave thanks gives thanks to God, as Simeon did. And so it's important for us to just sit back and say thank you. A prayer of gratitude that uh, the Lord came to us. And, and, I, and, I, I, and I've said this over and over again. You know, we take it so much for granted that our Godhead, a supreme being, invisible, took on our humanity and lived upon us. The invisible became visible to us. That God loved us so much. The ultimate unconditional love that he gave himself and died for us that we might live. And today, I think it's very important from this gospel passage that we have a day of gratitude to give thanks for our God, our loving God, and in the personhood of Jesus the Christ. the church, that our leaders may still proclaim fearlessly the all-important of God in the world of profit and pleasure, we pray to the Lord. That in these days when we celebrate the arrival of the Prince of Peace, God may awaken in our leaders the goodwill to which his angels promise peace on earth, we pray to the Lord. For the widows who haunt her temples and those who know the ways of fasting and prayer, we pray to the Lord. That our families may grow strong in faith and that their children may go, grow in grace and strength, we pray to the Lord. For the sick and those who are near death, that the loving Father who has drawn them may let them taste his sweetness and know his compassion. We pray to the Lord. For Warren Dufresne, Tom Allison, Steve Grover, Eileen Schneider, Sarah Seckel, Liam Murphy, Alan Burgess, Whitney Wyland Benton, 
Renee Pitzer, Fred Joseph, Carol Fernandez, Linda Moore Garrett, Brandon Sakel, Mary Eleanor Vachon, and those on our prayer list and the Book of Intentions. For the cause of Jean-Claude Collin, founder of the Marist for Sainthood, we pray to the Lord. That our dearly departed loved ones may come to know him who is from the beginning, especially for the repose of the soul of Reggie Vachon. May he rest in peace. We pray to the Lord.
with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with St. John the Baptist, his herald, with, with the Apostle, with the martyrs, St. Peter Chanel, O Pius X, and all your saints who will lead you throughout the ages. May we bear the need for ways of eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus. Lord, we find you all.